Hi everyone, I hope you're enjoying this time where we're drawing near to God through prayer. When I was asked to do this devotion, the first thing that popped into my head was something that God challenged me on quite some time ago. And the challenge was in relation to God's acts and God's ways and in the context of my prayer life. So at the time, of course, I was praying about different things, you know, um, please Lord, bring protection for my family, bring peace to different countries, bring healing to different people. And it made me very aware that much of my prayer life was devoted to asking God to act. And of course, we're commanded to do this. Philippians 4, 6 says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, bring your requests to God. And then it goes on to talk about the peace that God gives us. And that always reminds me, of course, of the, the old hymn, What a Friend I Have in Jesus. And the verse, it says, Oh, what peace we often forfeit, oh, what endless pain we bear, all because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. But also at the time, God was saying, well, how many times do you stop and ask me to show you my ways? And we read in Exodus 33:13 that Moses cried out to God, teach me your ways so that I may know you. And then in Psalm 25, David says, show me your ways, Lord, teach me your paths. So I really stopped to consider what I needed to do and how many times I asked God to show me his ways in answer to one of the things that I'm going through. And right at that time, coincidentally, of course, um, there was a family member that I was having some difficult um, phone conversations with. They just weren't flowing and would sometimes end in an awkward silence before we said goodbye. I said to the Lord, Lord, please show me your ways. Show me what you want me to do in this situation. And the answer came back loud and clear. One word, listen. And of course, I wanted to say, God, but I've got heaps of advice that I can give. But I knew that God's advice was far better than mine and that I needed to just stop and listen. And of course, from then on, our phone calls just went back to an even keel. So my encouragement to you today is to ask God to teach you his ways. Perhaps you're going through something at work, a difficult situation. Maybe you're, you've got a child that's acting up. Maybe there's a relationship that's gone a little bit sour or you've been very hurt by something. Maybe just stop and ask God to show you his ways and how he can, he can just help you through that situation by doing something that's following him. And this encouragement, of course, comes with a little bit of a warning because I find that whenever I ask God to show me his ways, it means that I have to do something. It's not asking him to act. It's ask, he's asking me to act and show his love in a very special way. So um, just before I finish, I'd like to just um, share a little image. I was thinking about Moses crying out to God to teach him his ways. And then a little bit later on in Exodus, we read that every time um, Moses met with the Lord, he would come back and his face would be radiant. So just imagine if this week we were to go out and our faces were so radiant because we'd been spending quality time in the presence of the Lord. Wow, what an image. So I'll just pray for you before we finish. Father God, thank you, Lord, that you love us so much that you desire for us to come to you with every need. Thank you, Lord, that, that we can just gain peace, just gain a peace by coming to you and bringing everything before you. Please be with every person, Lord, as we go through this week. Just encourage every person that's, that's watching this video, Lord. Just be with us and help us to have a radiance that just shows your love to others. In Jesus' name, amen.